Yeah, that's right. Go away. I don't want to hurt you. And you know I can hurt you. Well, you can hurt me too. That's, I think, a very important thing about um, Legacy Splinter Cell games, that they, uh, the enemies actually have the ability to hurt you within seconds, kill you, and um, that makes one of the core stealth aspects of the game, actually, that you're um, trying to avoid the situations in which the enemies see you and fire at you. Uh, yeah. These two guys are going to detect the nations, probably guarding them. Okay. Now we need a way to distract those guys. Uh, but first, let's look around a little bit. We got a wall mine here. If you move slowly, nothing happens. Let's disable that mine. I wish I could turn out the power. You know, that would be a perfect place. You get just hit the switch and then turn out the power of the whole floor, but fortunately it isn't going, so let's try another method. Um, method that won't work in future Splinter Cell games, probably. Yeah, exactly. Look what it is. You heard me now. And. Now he's going to investigate, I just hope I don't have to put him down here. Yeah, everything is going according to plan. He's investigating further. Go down in the direction of the fire. How are you feeling now, buddy, huh? Yeah, that's right. Your life is in my hands. Don't worry, not here to kill you. Although I would like to kill you. You're just a mercenary. Damn mercenary. Come on, Sam. Changing to the right weapon. Yeah, that's right. Oh, shit. Okay. Good night. Yeah, um, that's the thing about using ring airfoil rounds. Um, it's possible that if if you hit the body that he's just uh, stunned for a few seconds and uh, you have to you will have to close in and uh, and hit him to to knock him out completely because uh, if you're not aiming at the head this happens if you're aiming at the head he's um, in 90% of the cases knocked out um, completely but in this case you've seen was not not knocked out. A little bit inaccuracy by the uh, game. Yeah, nothing better than a coke to disable some wall mines, right, Fisher? Yeah, right. So let's see what these technician guys have to say after we disable the mines. I need an encryption key. We don't have any. Why should I believe you? There is a bomb. What? The Spetsnaz planted it to destroy the data archives. But they put it right next to the gas pipes. It will take out this whole floor. How do I get there? You will need the keypad code for the door. I think it's 33575. Oh boy. Grim check the building specs. That geek's story about gas pipes holds up. I'm on my way. Make it fast. No. You don't have a lot of time. Yeah, you're right. Let's hurry. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, here's the keypad. 33575, okay. Okay, run, 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 run. And slowly. Oh, wall mines. I hate wall mines. Can't use them. All they do is slow you down. No, I can't use them. I tried it multiple times. The only way they explode if guards are going, um, if guards are passing by, is if the guards are running. And the only way guards are running is if they really saw you. Otherwise, they're just walking and then they disable the wall marks. Nothing gained from it. 
Because after a little time, maybe, for a stealth approach. Yeah, come on, come on. Pick that lock faster. Faster. Oh man, does it have to be so many? <sighs> okay, we got it. Almost there. Yes. Okay, with that thing here and the bomb is diffused. What do you say, Lambert? Huh? Great work, Fisher. That could have been bad. But we've got a new twist for you. I hacked into the power grid. Somebody's thrown the breaker on the fire door circuit. Meaning you won't be able to open the doors until you found that breaker. Details on your offset. Fantastic. More work for me. And another dead technician. Let's go into the auditorium and look for a way to open a self step door we need to open. So, the power is in the basement as far as I remember. Those guys can't see us here. Although we really have to watch our steps, the um, sound detection meter is not there on the hut, but um, you still have to look for um, being very stealthy with your... Uh, yeah, I thought I would go down the stairs. Maybe I try a different approach because the stairs I could, could be spotted. Um, I will probably go around here now, yes, and uh, go over the railing. Hopefully they don't see us if we land silently. Yeah. Like I said, it's very, very dark in here, except for that place there. Um, yeah, we gotta rush through there a little bit faster, but something is happening that's disturbing us anyway, so uh, we don't need to look all too... But let's make sure this guy doesn't see us exactly. So, we gotta kind of distract him with that here yeah like I said um, you really have to watch your steps because although the sound meter is not established yet for splinter cell the enemies are still hearing different sounds differently than if you're running they will hear you if you're sneaking they will not hear you yeah look what it is oh did that help yes yeah. Uh, or not. Okay, let's rush through here. And go up there. I could have spotted somebody in the auditorium. Maybe our intruder. I need That's the reason. Now. That would happen even if you if you weren't spotted that that just happens. So let's just stay cool guys and go through here because they're actually opening you opportunity to sneak in the basement which is pretty nice I think what's important here is that you stay in the shadows and uh, stay very silent because this guy he has his ears like owls yeah this guy I'm talking about this one let's put out first put out the lights um, this light first here because um, 